Good morning friends, welcome back. Today I've got another recipe video for you. This is a crock pot meal. It's like a Mexican chicken and rice, so stay tuned to see how that goes. Many of you have been asking for more recipe videos. I used to do them a little bit more frequently, but honestly, I've just not been doing like recipes. I've been trying to keep things simple in the kitchen. But I do have a crock pot meal for today, and I'm gonna bring you along, show you how easy it is, and hopefully it turns out delicious. I've not tried this one, but I've done similar things before, so I'm really hoping that it turns out. But I'm gonna bring you along and show you what I'm making. So here are all the ingredients you will need for this crock pot meal. It looks like a lot, but it's pretty much like a dump and go sort of recipe. So you will need three chicken breasts, and these are huge, so this is definitely going to make leftovers for us. One eight ounce can of tomato sauce. I do have a second one in case it's looking a little too uh, like dry. One can of black beans, one can of sweet corn, the recipe calls for one onion and one bell pepper. I am just doing a small bag of this three pepper and onion strips. I think that'll be fine. Minced garlic. Recipe calls for one can of crushed tomatoes and a can of diced green chilies. However, when I went to Aldi, their can of crushed tomatoes was huge, so I grabbed two can of diced tomatoes with green chilies to kind of give me the same volume, and I'm not really concerned about it being crushed or diced. One cup of long grain rice two cups of chicken broth. And for spices, you are going to need one teaspoon of ground cumin, three quarter teaspoon of chili seasoning, half teaspoon of paprika, and salt and pepper to taste. Watch as the moonlight creeps into the you're in the headlights I wanna feel the way you do Remember the summer We chased the morning light We ran for hours You were always on my mind We tried to make it out alive But we let it slip away If we only had a second shot We'd find another way didn't show I usually like serve up the serving and show you the recipe in a pretty bowl it's not a very pretty recipe as you could see it looks like mush but the family ate while I was out of the house today and I'm actually not hungry so serving up a bowl right now doesn't sound good but just know that all we did there so everything cooked for about five hours on high maybe six and then took the mix and chop that I kind of showed at the end and that's what my husband used to just break up the chicken and that's a pamper, uh, pampered chef item, but you can find similar ones on Amazon. I'll try and link one down below if you're interested in seeing what that tool kind of is. But that breaks up the chicken really well and then you just stir it together and serve it. It would, the rice got a little mushy. No one seemed to care though. It just makes it look not so pretty. But the flavor is good. I did taste a bite of it to make sure that I was giving you something that wasn't horrible. And the kids even ate it. So that's always a win in my book. So this was our first experience with the Mexican rice and chicken and I'd say it was a win. So I'm actually gonna put it in the fridge for leftovers for tomorrow. But thank you so much for watching and until next time. We'll see you later. And um, I ate two bowls of it. That's crazy. You ate two bowls? What's in your mouth? Chocolate. Chocolate. And Alice, did you eat some too? Yes, I ate one. You ate one bowl? Yeah. You gonna dance for him again? <laughs> Show me your dance moves. Show me. Ah, uh, no. Okay, close it out. Don't bite. Howling like a wolf. Ah, 
careful. Can we close it out? Thank you for watching this video. Make Bye. sure to subscribe. Click that red button right down there. Bye. <laughs>